joined now by former walk-on turned scholarship running back Dominique Thomas. And uh, before we open it up for questions, just Dominique, just so they familiarize themselves a little bit with your story, can you kind of talk about your journey to Clemson? Oh yeah. So um, I started off at a NAI school in Kentucky, and uh, I knew I would only play there for one year. I knew it would be temporary, and. Um, my journey to Clemson. So I was deciding where I wanted to go next. And I was in between Memphis, Oklahoma State, and Clemson. And then one day I just, I prayed and I said, Lord, the first school that you show me tomorrow, that's where, that's where I'm gonna go. And I saw the blog on YouTube and, and it was Clemson and now I'm here, so. I guess why was, uh, why was that you in college just a temporary stop? Like why? Um, cause I knew I could play at a higher level. Like I knew I could play D1, and uh, I knew deep down inside, and I wanted to go see if I could, and I can. Yeah, so just under recruiters, nobody really. Yeah, um, I went to a smaller school, and nobody really, really got recruited from there. So I feel like if I would have had more exposure, then. It, Things would be different. So, and you came here with you, you knew three very talented backs were ahead of you when you got here. Mm -hmm. but you must have some good self confidence. Yeah, I am. I am a very confident person. Uh, just because I, I I work hard and and everybody knows that, and I've always been like that. Yeah, I I have always had pretty big legs. Um, in in ninth grade, my strength and conditioning coach made me stop squatting because my legs got too big, and I just deadlifted like all through high school. So. Because you were squatting so much, how big? Was yeah, I I think I done like five hundred in ninth grade, and after that, like after my. Yeah, after my freshman season, that's when like they cut me off from squat. So. <laughs> like, they were getting too big. Like, what yeah. Was this concern? Yeah, they were getting too big, and they they felt like it was slowing me down, like in sprinting. So yeah, I just I stopped squatting. How much can you do now? Uh, the most I've gotten, I think it was like six oh five. So. But I just. Oh yeah, they they want me they want me to get the strongest possible. Right. Yeah, because I did I did talk to Coach Greenley a while back, and uh, I said I feel like if my legs weren't so big, I'd be a lot faster. And he told me, but you want to think about the football side of things, like you're hard to tackle because you have big strong legs, and guys don't want to tackle you because of that. So. And all your teammates. Good yeah, a lot. A lot of them do. Like everybody except the running backs. Like they call me. They call me neat. But everybody else calls me Quadzilla. So. Do you feel like it ever slowed you down? Or um, I feel like in ninth grade, yes, because I, I hadn't grown into him yet. But uh, this is good now. Cause, like I was shorter and my legs were. I think they were bigger back then. Honestly. Yeah, definitely. Um, guys are just a lot bigger, faster, and stronger. But I mean, it's, at the end of the day, it's still football, and I'm still confident in what I do, confident in my preparation, and and confident in my ability. So. And what was the feeling? I guess going back to the spring, you get in the spring game. I think actually used pretty heavily because all the running backs were out. Yeah. Um, what was that like getting all those carries and playing Memorial Stadium the first time? Um. Just playing in the stadium for the first time, like, it was just a, a great experience overall. Uh, really a dream come true to just, I had a lot of people there. I think I had like 40 of my family members there and it was just a good feeling being able to uh, to play in that stadium in front of them and just playing at a, at a bigger school is something I, that I've always wanted to do. And it, was, it felt good being able to do that. 
by what the family members who were there, but I, I know that they're written about with loss of family members in a tornado. Um, how much do you think about them? What would they think about the fact that you're here? Um, I think about them every day, and uh, I decided to come to Clemson before the tornado, like me and something me and my mom had talked about, and I feel like now that I'm here, like I just I have a feeling inside that I know I'm making them proud just because that was the plan. Uh, it wasn't easy. It didn't happen right away, but I think they'd be proud that I that I kept going and and stayed the course. What did it mean to you? Get to, actually, what do you remember from getting the scholarship? Um, how did that? How did they tell you you were getting a scholarship, and what did that mean? Um, so, in our exit meeting, I asked Coach Sweeney what I needed to do to get a scholarship, and he told me I needed to be a good citizen. I needed to be committed. I needed to be a productive player, and. <laughs> Crazy, like the day before we were sitting down eating dinner, uh, we were sitting at the same table and he told me I was all three of those things and then the next day I got the scholarship in the team meeting. So. Yeah, the exit, exit meeting at the spring? Okay. Yes. Yeah. And you're saying what was the dinner? Uh, the dinner was the night before I got the scholarship. Okay. Yeah. So it was an active meeting that you were doing that? Yeah. Uh, he just, I just asked him and he, he told me those things. Yeah, yeah. At the dinner, he told me I was all of those things. It was like, and when he was doing it, like when we were in the team meeting, he was just talking, and he kept asking me questions, and you know, he was just talking, just being Coach Sweeney, and then I kind of, I kind of zoned out, like just thinking about all the things that he was saying, like. Asked me about my family. He, I have a chain with my grandparents on it. He asked me what's on my neck, and he just was telling guys that life isn't fair, and my life's been an up and down roller coaster, and I didn't jump off the card. And then I kind of just started thinking about my mom, thinking about my grandparents, and then I heard him say, "And that's why I'm putting Dominique." And then just everybody just started screaming, and I didn't. He didn't get to finish what he said, so. Any questions for Dominique from Zoom? Dominique, Trevor Gross from Steve Tigers Tech Bob. Uh, what did it feel like when, when you got, got into this game against Georgia Tech as the opener in Atlanta, uh, just being able to run the ball and, and be on national television was kind of surreal for you? Yeah, it was a surreal feeling because, you know, again, it's something that I've always dreamed about, just playing at a big school and playing, I mean, at Clemson ever since I decided that I was coming here, I've just kind of been manifesting it, and it was a really good feeling, just getting getting a carry in the game and getting to have a few good runs, and again, with a lot of my family members there. It sounds like you're kind of a religious guy. Um, how much did Coach Sweeney's passion for Christianity, not practicing on Sunday, so um, well, honestly, I didn't know much about the schedule here, like, before I, I came. But when I first met Coach Sweeney, he told me, um, he told me my mom is up there with his dad, and if I make the right decisions, that I'll see my mom again. He told me, he said, I know I'm, I'll see my dad again because of the decisions that I've made, and he just, telling me my mom planted a seed of greatness in me and just things like that. And that just made me realize the type of person that he was because when I first met him, he didn't even ask me anything about football. Like, he just was talking about me and my family. Last question for me, Dominique. Were you named after the human highlight reel, uh, Dominique Wilkins, or is that just a coincidence? Yeah, it was just a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> I was named after my mom. Ball? Yeah, I played basketball my whole life. So I didn't play my junior year, and then I played again my senior year. But yeah, I am a, I am a basketball fan. Yeah, I have dunked. I have dunked before. Um, 
I haven't touched the basketball in I don't know how long, but I feel like I can still dunk. So. It's a little bit like Dante Brooks. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> like Dante. Yes, sir. Have to go up against Root. I haven't played Root yet, but I feel like I beat anybody in the team one on one, honestly. He compares himself to LeBron. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. Worst way for DJ and one o'clock.